What have you got for today, baby girl? You haven't opened your elf gift yet, have you? I've got even this. No, this is Nevaeh's highlight of the day, isn't she? She loves doing this. <coughs> no, 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 don't you do it, Abby. Don't help get me the chocolate. The chocolate out. Push it from the back. Turn it upside down and bash it onto the floor. Is it coming out? No. Oh, it come out from in there. There it is. Yeah. What did you get? Chucky. Oh, we didn't even get a chance yeah. to see. It was a bell. It, in the was a bell. it was a bell. Let's yeah. see what you've got in yours. Maybe you should rip the doors off the ones that you've already opened so it doesn't cause confusion. <coughs> That's probably why it's a good idea to probably stick with the days. Maybe it was a bad idea to open any door. Do you think it's been more exciting opening any door or? Yeah. Pepe! Nevaeh has ripped half of her calendar open. No more now. Yeah, let's put that back out. What did you get now? Nevaeh got a, what is it called? A chewy. Is that what it's called? Not like chewing gum, but a chewy bar off the elf. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got. What door are you going to open? I haven't yet. Oh, I'm going to open it. What have you got? An arrow. An arrow? Yeah. Hmm. A what? Server. Oh, oh, it's a surface arrow of friends. Oh, um. yeah, baby. Fr what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah. Oh no, you lost your pants. What did you get? A drumstick sweet bar off the elf. That was nice, wasn't it? What did the elf do today? He left us a note, didn't he? Do you want to read it? Yes. Christmas isn't all about receiving. It's about giving to him. You have been receiving every day. Can you help me <coughs> And then we thought, now that Nevaeh has got a blankie and settled back down, the crisis averted, we, th we can talk again. We thought about what we could donate and then we remembered since October we've been saving a bag full of things up, haven't we? So we are going to donate them to the Kirby Christmas Toy Appeal. She's telling me to shush now, she's so angry with me. <laughs> Well, yeah, you were awake last night with some pains, wasn't you? I thought it was a pain. Yeah. Oh, the back of the nose says feel better soon today. Yeah. Ow! Because she was awake most of the night, wasn't you? Oh, ouch. Right, we need to clean up this floor because the use of left wrappers absolutely everywhere. Hello, so, girls. Yeah? I've just realised every single day that we vlog, you are both wearing these pyjamas. And it looks like... You don't own any other pyjamas. Do you want to explain? So basically, we do get washed and dried every day before we go to bed. Yeah. So every morning when they take them off and get dressed, we put them in the washing machine. It doesn't matter what we're washing, even if it's white. They go in with the whites because you're so determined, aren't you, that you want to wear them again. They've got... They've got a thing yeah. where they're saying they want to wear them every single day because they're the only, like, Christmas-themed pyjamas, aren't they? Yeah, but I've got to do well for Christmas. You have a Christmas nightie, but you haven't worn it, have you? Because it's too cold. But um, they, won't, they won't possibly wear any other pair of pyjamas, no matter what they get. So um, I think next year we need to have a wait with this elf and tell them to bring a couple more pairs of pyjamas, don't we? Yeah. 
<laughs> Nevea puts new pyjamas on every day, don't you? Hey, because mummy's in charge. She has got a couple of pairs of Christmas pyjamas though, hasn't she? So, yeah. so she wears ones that match on. <laughs> that's these ones, isn't it? That, that no, kind of matches. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's just got like <laughs> green ones, but they've got dinosaurs on them. They're not really Christmassy, but she's got she's got loads of pyjamas. Yeah. So she's happy, aren't you, about wearing different PJs every day? Okay. Yeah, she, she like, no, the Peppa Pig onesie. I'd say she doesn't like that all that much. Yeah, but she doesn't like the feel of it. She, to be fair, when I put the Peppa Pig onesie on her, she kind of gets frustrated with it, doesn't she? So um, I don't really put that on her that often. Yeah, she was. She liked it. It kept you warm, didn't it, when you were cold? <laughs> Who's that? You want to say good morning anyway good morning everybody and welcome back to another day of vlogmas if you didn't see yesterday's video we went into liverpool late night shopping we did a build a bear for baby's birthday didn't we anybody who doesn't actually know this if you are joined up to the build a bear club and have an account with them and you register your children's birthdays on the day or well, the month of their birthday, you can go into Build a Bear and build a bear for the price of the child's age. So because Nevea was turning two, she paid two pounds for her Build a Bear, which is fantastic given the price of them. So she got to do that whole experience for just two pounds, which was really nice. And then you pay like a little bit extra for the box, like the, the box that she carried the bear in, if you've seen the video. And then you pay extra for clothes and all stuff like that. But she really liked it, didn't you? Hey? She loves the bear. We were going to get some clothes for it. I think the birthday t-shirt was £5 and Joe was like, let's get it. And I was like, I'd rather get a tutu. But I know Nevea and I also know that all of the clothes that are on any of her toys get taken off and lashed. And I'm not paying like £5 for something that she's just going to take off it anyway. She wouldn't ever leave it dressed. So anyway, I said it in the video, yesterday's video, I realised that we kind of ended it quite abrupt. I just like went... We're back in Kirby and on that note, we're going by. Um, we were tired. It had been a really long day and we knew the second that we walked through that front door, the kids were going to be super excited to see us. And we had things that we needed to keep away from them, like gifts and presents. So we weren't keen on vlogging when we got home with the madness. So that's a reason why. Thank you, babe. Right, it was a very successful shopping trip. We got everything that we needed, all the things that we needed for the girls, clothes-wise, a couple of surprise gifts. We just have to order the boys' things online because JD didn't have the things that they'd asked for in stock in their sizes, which was quite annoying. Well, that JD didn't anyway. I wonder if Aintree will save the um, delivery fee because I'll probably have to pay for next day to make sure that it comes in time for Christmas. Don't know, do you fancy taking a trip to Aintree to JD to see if they've got your clothes? And <laughs> Zach's like, no. <laughs> you hate shopping, don't you? So yeah, the pro probably going to end up being ordered online. Um, I've got a couple of more toys to get and then they can all be sent off to Santa finally and then we'll be done for Christmas. The plan is now, we are going to watch yesterday's vlog on the telly because the girls want to see the baby building the bear, don't you? Yeah. Um, and then you're going to do some learning yeah. and then we're going to go and donate to the Kirby Christmas Toy Appeal. It's um, something that's been set up in our area for children of our area, for those who are struggling, basically. Um, families that, you know, are not able to do Christmas and um, other... can't really buy presents. can't really buy presents for, for whatever reason or, you know, it... it the, it, it's just a struggling time of year for many, isn't it? So they've set up, they set up a shop every year and lots of people donate things and it's not used stuff, it's all brand new. So when the children open them on Christmas Day, you know, they've they've got presents, proper presents. So it's nice to donate there, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. So um, it's really nice that they do that anyway. And, you know, they go through schools and things like that so they know who needs it and... We've got some watches, brand new. So they say that they struggle more for teenagers than they do for younger children. People seem to donate a lot for younger children, but they tend to forget about the teenagers. So we've got some watches. We've got some toys. 
but I think we're, we're a little short on things for teenage girls, so maybe we should go and buy something mm -hmm, yeah. before we go and donate. Like, uh, what do teenage girls do? like makeup Heavy and things makeup. like that, don't they? Yeah, Heavy like. Makeup. But I believe that there's been lots of requests and there's been simple things like hair brushes and things like that, which is so sad, isn't it, really? But, um, and hair bubbles, like, I'm not even going to carry on because I'm going to end up crying otherwise, it's sad. But anyway, shake it off. We are going to go and donate, aren't we? Okay. And, and um, we will pick up another little something before we go i also need to get some gloves because my hands were frozen yesterday i need to get gloves for me gloves for joe and gloves for matthew matthew's a bit like me he's one of them i'm never cold i don't need any gloves and hats and then he's been walking the dog he hasn't walked him while he's been unwell and then he felt better yesterday and walked him and he was like oh by the way i do need gloves you were right i am freezing when i'm walking the dog <coughs> i think because he didn't walk him for like two weeks while we were unwell. There was like a bit of a decline in the weather and it went really, really cold. And now he's realised how cold December actually is. Again, I think we all forget, don't we, how cold the weather actually gets. Anyway, I'm going to go so we can carry on with our morning. Otherwise, we're never going to get anywhere. I'm popping this bit in here because this next clip doesn't make no sense. Because we've missed, we've lost some footage somewhere. I don't know whether it didn't record or if I've deleted it by accident. Basically, we go to the town centre and we didn't record anything in between the last bit of footage that you just seen and the next bit of footage that you will see um, because Joe's mum turned up and just as we were about to leave and then um, she gave us a lift to the town centre in a taxi. And then when we got out of the taxi, I said, we're at the town centre explains all of that what i've just explained about joe's mum turning up and the girls said thank you on the vlog to their auntie jenny for the gifts so again thank you auntie jenny for their christmas gifts and um then i said i was going to go to b&m to try and um, replace the gift set that i bought a couple of weeks ago because when it came to wrapping it if you've seen what we got our teenage gift teenagers for christmas gifts video as I went to wrap one of these gift sets, one of the perfumes were completely empty. So I wasn't sure if they were going to replace it. Anyway, the next clip should make some sense now. I am sorry about that. A tree. A big Christmas tree. It's not lit up today though, is it? You're bucky. We've been in B&M. They changed um, the perfume set. A bit reluctantly looked as if to say like, you being using this but well, i would have just said to him now and i've got video evidence of buying it and i've got video evidence of him um, showing it on the video as well when i found out that it had nothing in it but um yeah we need to go and buy the teenage gift first but at least that's one thing sorted and we've bought a nice little pamper thing for a and teenager no, 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 you can't say what it is because Matthew might see the vlog oh, yeah. and then it spoils. It's a, it's a little novelty Matthew. surprise for Matthew, yeah, yeah. Um, which I think will be fun. It's like quirky given us age. But now we are going to donate mm -hmm. and do our elf task yeah. and then we can go shopping. Dawn, how good did that feel? Good, good. It she felt gave you sweets. She gave you sweets, didn't she? Yeah. And uh, how good did it feel seeing the smiles on the faces? Good. It felt really good, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, it's always nice to children. give. Yeah? I got a snowman. They also got the picture taken and uh, by the tree with the donations and they're going to put it up on like the Facebook group to give them a thank you, which is lovely. But yeah, it's always nice, isn't it? And it doesn't cost us a lot to give little gifts like that, but it'll make somebody's Christmas, won't it? Hey? Yeah. yeah. And Christmas is all about... Giving. Yeah. Not receiving. So the elf has taught us a valuable lesson today, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, you can give, but you can also receive. Yeah, you can also receive, but it's also nice to give, isn't it? When yeah. you're receiving so much, it's nice to give too. Yeah. So now, we can carry on with our shopping. She gave us sweets. Yeah, it was like a thank you to you for bringing yeah. things in. Oh, nice, that was wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dip dabs. Yeah, they, they have bin bags full of things, but yeah, like people yeah. To yeah. 
in her own bargain and as many of you know joe shaved his head oh yeah they're cute yeah joe shaved his head a couple of weeks ago so now he is bald and um i want to get him some sort of i don't know ointment oil moisturizer thing to stop his head from getting like dry but i don't know what i'm looking for so i'm just having a little look does hair mask or does that have to go on here I don't know if anyone's got any tips comment down below because i have no clue i did look online and coconut oil is supposed to be good so i'm gonna go and have a look at that no it's mulled wine that we're just uh, looking at the little um gift things some of them have changed haven't they yeah. these perfume gift sets for women for 4.99 and these ones fire trap as well so they're a good name and then they've got all of them and then and they've got these, you've got one of them, haven't you, for Christmas? The, yeah. I forgot what they're called. Um, and then in the men's, they've got the same sort of perfume gift sets, well, aftershave gift sets, and they're only 3 99 And then they've got them ones as well. These ones, and they've got the Jeff Banks hand lotions and hand washers. Novelty teenage kids things are all here. I like these face mask, oh foot mask, foot soap and foot cream, they're 4 99 and then they've got the like little hand ones but they come in a proper container, it's not like one of them plasticky ones and it's got a lid so you could use that to store something else afterwards. What's this? But Body balm and um, perfume. Uh, perfume and how much is that one? £3. So, is it £3 or is it the 7 99 Oh, it's two ninety nine for that. So if you've got Mom. any preteens or younger kids that like perfumes, they're ideal for them. And then you've got these um, soothing Pink face masks with, with a brush, brush and some hydrating eye masks. Also, you've got this Secret Spas eye mask um, set. Renee has actually got one of these. Got any pets? They've got these festive dog bones which are super cute and they've got all of these chews are these there i thought that they were those like you know the ones that are supposed to be banned raw hearts yeah raw hearts ones they're no good they're not the mardi so them ones are no good but all the rest of them are all right they've got all of the little festive treats no that's bath salt they've got the dental sticks for 69 pence I think I'll get one of them. Your little pet toys, which are no good for our Max because he literally will chew them to bits. For a beauty cooler or a mini fridge here in Home Bargain, they've got them for £30, which is fantastic. They've also got these Kiss and Makeup palettes, these, these, and nail polishes, lip glosses, and they've also got the brushes and blenders too. Oh, done. Let's leave this town centre before I spend any more money <laughs> than I need to because I have been. When you go shopping with these girls, they literally don't stop. They're like, I'd really like that. Thank you. I'd really like this for Christmas. I'd really like that for Christmas. And um, we end up getting it because we just can't say no, can we? Hmm? So I thought since we've had no lunch, because we were supposed to come out earlier, but then Nan turned up. That we'd pop into McDonald's yeah. on the way home. What do you think? Yeah! Yeah? Just get a little burger. I like McDonald's. Yeah. Because it is near than three o'clock now. So I can imagine you'd be starving. Yeah. He's starving. Yeah. And we haven't been here for a while now. It's been a good couple I'm of weeks. Sweet. Yeah, you had sweets, but sweets, sweets aren't good, are they? Yeah, Yeah. So let's pop in here. I got a burger to walk home with, and then walk home. John, how was your burger? Nice. Yours nice. Everybody's like, I could do with more sauce on it, but it's all got sauce all around your mouth. I got myself one as well, but I didn't try and eat it while I'm walking because I'll just be so breathless. And you got yours. You got yours. Num nums. Nice. Considering. It wasn't all that busy. We seemed to wait ages, didn't we? Oh, this car's blocked our pathway, so now we're not going to be able to get across. We are where we went to the Heaven Centre the week, and it's crazy to think that it's all now back to normal. And it's only, what, four days later? Yeah. 
four days later and it's completely back well, to normal now because we went saturday so yeah. sunday monday tuesday wednesday Thursday. you're right ebony five days from when we went but she maths is better than me five days from when we went but they were on, they on, they they had on the sunday, sunday. yeah they were on, on sunday, sunday. On sunday on yeah it's not me it'll be joanne oh. you want to wave yeah <laughs> The only pink car in town. <clears throat> the only pink car in town. That's how we know it's Joe, don't we? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but that was up in Liverpool, wasn't it? The only pink car in Kirby. Santa. 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 Who is it? The excitement that she has for every Christmas decoration. A tree. Even if it's a little wreath on a door, she's like, it's a tree, it's Christmas, the lights. A tree. A ho ho. That's a mouse, not a ho ho. Santa. Every single thing she gets so excited for, it's so cute. She's definitely a Christmas baby. Oh, she's seen a ho ho sheep. If anybody hasn't seen that YouTube short, go check it out. She calls reindeer ho ho sheep. That's all they'll ever be known as now. At home, so I thought I would show you what I have bought. Manchester tart. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at them. Cherry, cherry, darling. Anyone knows what these are called? Do you know? They are called Manchester Tarts. Ebony put the bag into the pram and we forgot they were in there and it kind of splattered. We picked them up as a little treat for Joe, so you can have them. Thank you. I'm sorry about them being splattered. Sorry, sorry, bro. These are the so escapes that one of the bottles were empty. I picked up these three aftershaves. One was supposed to be a surprise, but now Joe's gonna know about it. For Matthew, Zach and Joe. And then this is the little novelty thing that we've got for Matthew. <laughs> that we picked up we thought it'd be funny if anybody watched this birthday vlog you'll know why we got this there was there was boyfriends as well inflatable boyfriends and some woman actually made a comment when she ebony was laughing about us picking this up and she went to ebony you should get an inflatable husband for your mum you know like insinuating i wasn't married just because i'm not walking around with my husband mm. i think that's disgusting that's a couple of times that's happened now and then we Ebony picked this. She wanted this for Christmas. She did want the I one, the same as Renee. And then she was like, oh, no, actually, I really like the look of that one. So I'm going to get that. So she, I've got that for her. Just some shampoo, some wipes, friends socks, because, you know, Ebony's gone into friends. So anything we see friends now, we pick up. A number two balloon for Nevea, some wagon wheels, some Kit Kats and some Freddos. These were in home bargain. These were actually a bargain. The nine pack for, I think it was £1.40, mm. which isn't bad. Oh God, Joe's, Joe's really enjoying that. These were a pound and these were 89p, so definitely cheaper to go to home bargain. We have a bag of other things which I can't actually show because they are gifts for people. I thought I'd just have a nice, well-deserved sit down now before I cook tea. I don't even know what I'm cooking for tea. I can't remember what's on the meal plan. My brain is just completely blank. I know I've got chickens and for some reason my brain just keeps thinking, cook the chicken, cook the chicken. But I just don't know what it is that I'm supposed to be cooking. Anyway, I'm in the middle of editing the vlog. I found with Vlogmas uploading every day isn't the hard part it's the I, I wouldn't even say vlogging every day is the hard part because we're quite busy throughout December so there is something to vlog every single day however on the other hand the editing is so if we have a really busy day where we're out all day long I can be editing up until two o'clock in the morning because I've got to edit it and then I've got to download it, which can take as long as up to like 30 minutes to an hour. And then I've got to upload it to YouTube as well. So it's up for the next morning for everybody to see because we do a morning upload. So I'd upload any in between 8am and 12pm on a morning time. Um, so to make sure that that's all done in time, I have to stay up pretty late editing. Um, but I've found now, as the days are going on, if we have a day like this where I'm vlogging from morning time until an evening time, if I edit in between when I have like little intervals like this where I can sit down rather than scrolling through Facebook or whatnot, 
um, Eichen edit and get half of it edited and then the next half edited and it doesn't take quite as long. I can be done by like 11 o'clock. So yeah, for anybody who has asked if Vlogmas is hard, <laughs> the recording our lives isn't but the editing and making sure that it's all right and uploaded and making your thumbnail and everything else can be but it's definitely worth it i have enjoyed vlogmas i'm not gonna lie and we are gonna try and make our videos in january from three days a week to four days a week i think that's manageable and i think that'll make everybody happy because everybody's been complimenting us on like doing vlogmas they've been saying oh i'm really enjoying that there's videos every single day from news so i think that four days a week is manageable as well as it'll make everybody happy as well and then i won't bore people with our boring lives it is way past tea time and i am just sorting something for tea i'm doing something easy tonight homemade burgers because i've coughed so much i've given myself a booming headache so homemade burgers it is they're pretty easy to do I'd have preferred to just have something that I could just flash into the oven. But when I do my shopping, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be fit and healthy enough to make this from scratch. And so now I've got to do it all myself. Where's my onion powder? <laughs> Somebody actually left a, um, a message on one of the vlogs saying, I'm always intrigued what Joe is listening to. Right now I'm listening to We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you But now I walk around with the phone in because people call me all the time and too lazy to get me out of the phone and But most of the time It's mostly for calls, he scrolls through Facebook, he um, listens to podcasts watch videos, podcasts and also I watch, <laughs> I sing songs a lot I was actually going to say, the real reason he wears the earphone is because he's not allowed to listen to his phone on loud. He's so selfish. He has the volume on 100. Nobody can hear the telly. Nobody can hear their own devices. Because it's like so loud and piercing. And it's people doing like... Because you're tone deaf. Who you... It's like listening to no. people's conversations no, 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 rather no, no, than no. watching No, it's too it's much. So do you know what, like, right, this is a perfect prime example. The kids all sit at the dinner table and they each have their device. They all have earphones, yet every single one of them have the device on, lad. So all of them sounds are all going over each other. And then he sits down with his device on 100. And then the telly's on 15. The baby's shouting. And, and it's just all too much in my head. Like, it literally drives me insane. And I'm like, can you just all turn it off? Just let everybody turn it off. Just and maybe. most of the time, they're shouting at each other as well. Now, anybody who, who, de who like, what is it called? People say it's noise sensitivity. Anyone who deals with that will know exactly what I am on about. It's just too much noise going on at once and it literally drills at your brain like a drill. Yeah. Never heard it before. It's horrible. Never had that. It is absolutely if horrible. If you had that, I feel sorry for you. Mm. So, I, it, even if he says, my earphones broke the next day, he's got a new pair of earphones. Because... Um, I just can't. His phone seems to be the loudest in the house. Don't know why his mind's not even that loud. Don't know how you manage it. It's having a good phone, guys. I've got the same phone, as you. I've got the bigger one. Makes no bigger, bigger phone, bigger speaker. It makes no cool. Saying that, I don't have mine on full volume, so that's probably why. No, we're not selfish. <coughs> I know mine's down too, wear a mask. No, you don't. Is you do go, you? okay, and then two seconds later, it's back high again. Well, you say, I can't hear it because of all the noise do, do, in the house. That wasn't the question, do you want to know what he so just, He's just able to tone everything else. Like, what Christmas song are we singing today? I don't know. Mum, you've done many Christmas. I'm, I need to get What else do you need to do? Let me just pop it down here. All I want for Christmas <laughs> is me. Just you? Pack me bags then, shall I? That's the way it sings, isn't it? It's all I want for Christmas is you. Oh. And that sounds terrible because Christmas I've got no money. is you. I cough that much, you gave me an yeah. headache, and then he comes outside and starts singing my time. Just go and put some vocals in. I've been practicing all day. La 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 la. As he warms up. La 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 la. No. I'm sure he doesn't deliver it. He definitely ate me in the living room, so I've got a boom and headache and then came out to annoy the hell out of me. Didn't ya? No. What's up? No. Max? Can we dance? Do the boogie boogie. 
Let's do the boogie boogie. I can't see it in the camera, you'll have to pick her up and dance with her. She's doing it on me, but she can't pick her up, she's gonna fly up. She's gonna fly up. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. That's it! Yeah! Let's see what it is! Go! You'll do it. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie. Go! Ah! Kiss my up! So cute. I saw them. I've taken her She wants you to take her to the Asda. I forgot to tell you. Oh, uh, yeah, she's going to tell me now loud and clear. So, listen, guys. She said to me earlier on, tell Joe, I'll message him if I need to go to the Asda. Does after anybody work. else's mum call like this? You'll have to dial it up. Are you listening? Yeah, what's your mum? Give us a ring back when you get this message, Dad. I just want to see if you're going to go to the after with me. Okay, let me know. No, he doesn't want to go to the after with you. Right, there's two mistakes to that email. Sorry, to that voicemail. So just to let you know when you leave me a voicemail, don't make these prime mistakes. For one, you've already asked me what you want me to do. For two, you told me it's me mum. I know who you are, isn't it? She knows that it comes off like her name. And she goes, do you have your mum? Or she'll ring me and she'll go, Steph. It's Joe's mum, Sue. So, I know who you are. That's prime. <laughs> I know who you are. So, Joe, 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 I need you to speak to you quick, quick, quick. Because I'm nosy, I want to know. But now that I know, I'm like, I can't do it. Do I have to take you to the house, really? Do I have to be that no. good son? Oh. I'll yeah, always take you because that's just me. You can't leave it to go on her own. No. She needs to go to Christmas shopping. So I've got to carry it. And everyone needs a Joey in their life. You do. Why she named me, Joey? She never she named you after you, yeah. great uncle. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a good mood now. Everyone does need a job. Could you amaze them? Oh, what do you oh, need? Raw meat. Oh, I see the thing that they show that people in. Was it? Oh, where were they from? I'm not sure where they were from. I think they were Norwegian. And they, they ate raw meat on purpose. Disgusting. Can somebody get me a plate so I don't have to touch any dishes with my minty hands and then, you know. I'm on my way. I'm not very prepared today, am I? One down, right a million to go. That is tea or done. Joe did the chips and dished off for me because I just feel like rubbish. So I'm going to end the video here because it is pretty long. As I said, I've been editing as I go and it's, it's, it's very long. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you t again tomorrow for a really special one. See you again soon. Bye.